In the 1980s, Efteling were aiming for a new market and added more and more thrill rides. One of which would be a bobsled roller coaster through the woods. This classic would operate for 34 years, offering fun for the whole family. Welcome back to Expedition Efteling. <laughs> In the 1920s, bobsled roller coasters started to become popular. Inspired by bobsleigh rides, the coaster would freely travel down a semicircular shaped trough. While not able to reach huge speeds due to the nature of the ride, which would cause them to fly off the track, these coasters created a different kind of excitement. Known as Flying Turns Coasters, these wooden tracks were often credited to former British aviator John Barlow. His first creation would be located at Lakeside Park in Ohio. From 1929, he would continue to open seven more wooden bobsled coasters in the USA, the last being constructed at Coney Island in 1941. The fun begins right here at the Screamin' Delta Demon, Opryland's newest fun ride. It wouldn't be until the 1980s when the design would once again become popular this time with a steel track. Developed by Interman, both the Screamin' Delta Demon opened at Opryland and the Sarajevo bobsled at Magic Mountain in 1984. In 1985, Mack rides followed suit, creating a version of their own at Europa Park in Germany. This same year, the Interman version of the ride would make its way to Efteling. Efteling had recently discovered the benefits of attracting an older youth group to the park, with a huge spike in attendance that came with opening the largest roller coaster in Europe at the time, Python. They were looking to install another roller coaster to continue this success. Interman had recently worked with the park on Piranha Water Rapids and were the logical choice for the new attraction. The first area looked at for the new ride is where George and the Dragon sits today. This was decided against due to the fear of too much noise on the edge of the park. Instead, they would choose something much more central. This central location would have space to define the surrounding area and to also expand an underdeveloped area at the time that would be transformed into the Oak Grove. Another area next door to the new ride would also be cleaned out, which was previously home to farm animals. Interman's bobsleigh coasters were invented by Claude Mabillard, who would later go on to create B&M. He was also involved in the creation of this ride at Efteling. While designed by Interman, the construction was outsourced to the now defunct Swiss roller coaster builder Giovanola. Construction began in 1984. The track would be a large green half tube to blend in with the dense surrounding trees with a white snow effect covering the inside. The station would feature a Swiss style traditional log theme. During construction, a rumor has existed for many years confirmed by the park that workers came across bones in the ground. Suspected to be human, the police were called, and when the adjudicator was asked if they were indeed human, he replied with, when do you want the right to open? To which the park replied, with Easter. The official ruling was that the bones were from a dog, and the ride did open on time. This ride was unique for an Interman bobsled ride, with a custom layout and unique trains. Out of the two different types of bobsled type trains, Efteling decided the train that would fit multiple people would be the more theme appropriate. Many names were considered, including the Silver Fox, Kingfisher, Turbo Bob, Tiger Bob, Swiss Bob, and Olympic Bob. The final choice was simply named The Bob, opening on April 4th, 
1985. A few days before this, a team of European bobsleigh riders would be the first official riders. The attraction was somewhat unique for Efteling and was barely advertised, unlike the high profile offerings that came before it. The 1985 commercial barely featured the ride, and it was also rarely included on merchandise. Bob was themed around winter sports, and advertised that you are able to go to Efteling and experience winter sports in the summer. Other than the station, not much could be seen of the actual ride, as it weaved through the woods. This entranceway featured white walls surrounded by two Swiss flags. Inside was some light theme in, such as cuckoo clocks and skis. For the ride, guests would sit in one of eight trains, each able to carry six people in a single file line. Heading up the 70 foot lift hill, the trains would be sent down the track, reaching 37 miles per hour, then heading freely through the twists and turns of the 1719 foot long track enclosed in the forest. Throughout the ride, guide rails would help to assist the trains on its two minute descent. While the ride would normally close during bad weather, if you were lucky enough to catch a ride down the slopes when it was raining, it increased the out of control feeling while flying through the woods creating a much, much more thrilling ride. Bob was great for the whole family and became a park favorite. It did, however, have a low capacity, making large lines with long waits. Over the years after its opening, the experience stayed mostly the same, with a few minor changes. In 1987, a cafeteria was opened next to the ride, expanding the area's theme. The hard wheels of the Bob's trains on the track caused quite a lot of noise. In the mid-1990s, the part looked into removing the ride and a buyer was found in England. It was so loud it would close during the evenings due to not compiling with a night opening license as it could be heard all throughout the fairy tale forest. In 1996, the hard nylon wheels were replaced with rubber versions making the attraction over 10 decibels quieter. The downside was that they would leave black marks on the track throughout the season, but the trade-off was worth it and the attraction would be kept. The largest change though would come in 2005 when the trains were completely replaced with brand new ones. Now riders would sit in rows of two rather than behind each other, not only making it more comfortable, but increasing capacity slightly. Rather than the winter sports look of the old, they would now have a wooden sled look. These new trains were created in-house and the old trains were sold to Six Flags Over Texas for their bobsleigh roller coaster. Rumors began that the bob would be removed in the late 2000s. However, in 2012, the style of the ride was changed completely, removing the old sports style theming and bright colors. The year after, it would be the first rider Efteling to receive a single rider line to help with the low capacity. Sadly, however, after many years, the ride would begin to have technical issues. With the ride type no longer being produced and parts hard to find, it became increasingly difficult to keep the attraction operating. The lift hill had a major technical failure that was difficult to fix. After three months of downtime and a temporary fix, the park decided it will be time to remove the bob. Planning permission for an expansion near the Vogel Rock Coaster had been delayed and the bob's replacement would be pushed forward. It closed forever on September 1st, 2019, after 34 years. Efteling announced in late 2018 that the ride was to be closed and gave plenty of notice to get a final ride in. It received a farewell song, special merchandise was created, and on the final day, the ride was decorated with special flags and decorations. Anyone who entered the line before the closure time would get to ride. Even after the park had closed, people were still waiting in line. Eventually, after the line was cleared, the very last ride was taken by staff who had worked at the attraction day by day. A fitting celebration to say goodbye to what had become such an iconic ride. Shortly after, the ride began to be broken down and removed. The station and line would remain to be used for the ride's 15 million euro replacement. 
Max and Moritz. Based on the 1865 German illustrated story of the same name, this story follows two troublesome kids who make fun of the villagers with their mischievous behaviour. This new, dual empowered coasters manufactured by Mack Rides are set to open in June 2020. The whole area has been updated and refreshed and looks incredible. <laughs> The Bob was an attraction that the whole family could enjoy together, that had just the right amount of thrills and fun for everyone. A ride that over the years delighted many visiting and was the first roller coaster for many children. Travelling over 6.5 million kilometres over the years, the ride received a fitting end and was replaced with a worthy replacement that continues the ride's spirit. The Bob will always be remembered as a legendary attraction at the Efteling Park. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Expedition Efteling. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe to join the expedition. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram for updates and teasers on upcoming episodes, and head to expeditionthemepark.com for the latest news. Where would you like to head next on Expedition Efteling? Let me know in the comments below. A special thank you to our Patreons for supporting the channel, and we will see you next time.